first thing I do is check the uh, check to see that I'm charged. I can see that from far away, but with the camera you couldn't. So that's the first thing that I check to see if the car is charged. And then uh, it was completely charged, so I just wait for a second, unplug it, cover the hole back up. Get in the car and I got this magnetic ball. Just go ahead and attach it. And then I'm gonna make this a quick video. This is gonna, gonna be, find us. This is gonna be a short ride. Uh, maybe maybe about seven minutes. So far so good. short ride to uh, just test everything out and see I'm on all electric I had uh, 22 miles of all electric range using power provided by the RV park all electric it's electric wow that looks good Better than a GoPro. <laughs> it's more convenient. Yeah, I'm trying to do this on my motorcycle too. It's really cool. So I was gonna. Yeah, you know what? Um, I was gonna stop at the gas station, but not. So, when I have a short trip like this, I don't really conserve power at all. In fact, my philosophy is different. I want to use it all. Use every single bit of it. So I got the AC blasting. And I'm just it's just a very relaxing, stress-free ride. Uh, part of this is when I get to closer to my destination I'm not going to uh, I'm going to pause the film you're not supposed to film uh, security operations so but anyway it's easy you know the speed limit is 45 you can see right there with this uh, sign the light is red and then distance about a quarter mile away I'm still gonna cruise up to it because this particular light I know this light and this light uh, I'm gonna have to wait anyway so I'm just conserve and then I just downshift it engine braking engine braking engine braking So even my worst, most aggressive, power-hungry driving in this car is still most people's uh, best driving. Like I, I still don't go real, real hard. You know, I, I just cruised, up, eased up on the gas, easy on the gas there, and then I'm drifting right now. Drift, 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 drift downshift because I can time it I know about how much it takes to come to almost a complete stop braking score is 98% beautiful day in El Paso had the AC up a little bit too high. So it's 82 degrees. I have it on 70, set on 70. I just turned down the fan a little bit so I can uh, be a little more comfortable. Wait for traffic. All electric. Not one ounce of gas. 
then this this entire trip would be all electric. I could have taken the highway, probably should have, and skipped the lights, but I wanted to just sort of intro and see how this uh, this this setup works. The camera setup. Just a few more minutes. So I'm gonna be a, a little more aggressive. So I'm taking off off the line. There was a car beside me. I don't want him close to me. Especially if it's free power. If it's free power to me, like it's, it's zero gas. It's kind of cool. This, yeah, the, the readout's going to say 999 miles per gallon, which is, you know, which means nothing to me. Ugh. Oh, God. I was trying to make this light, which I will make. Pause the video real quick because we're coming up on the gate and then I'll turn it back on. Alright, we're back. <laughs> For you, I don't even you wouldn't have noticed. So uh anyway, we just came through the gate and then it's a beautiful day. Oh, I could have took it to cruise around that the green part. <laughs> we're in the desert, so forgive me. The desert. to uh, Freedom Crossing. Speed limit here is, I don't know, I think it's 25. Off the gas, engine braking. So, so this car, just to, you know, give you a, one of the features is um, the brakes, the physical brakes do not engage until about five miles per hour. So there's no brake dust. I've never cleaned brake dust off of these wheels. It's just like road dust, which is weird. In a regular car, you clean off the brake dust all the time if you want to keep your wheels clean. But this car, it's using the engine or the motor to charge the battery when you're braking. So you're not actually using the physical brakes. It's, 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 it's pretty cool. I don't know if I'll ever change brakes. Because I always use engine braking to regenerate power. And it it's probably ends up being not that much power that you're regenerating, maybe 15%, 10 or 15%. But, um, you know, if you're doing a lot of city driving, it can add up. should I park there's no unfortunately there's no charging free charging here yet I should probably ask the manager if they're considering it for electric cars or partially electric cars that'd be nice So when I park, I'll just show you uh, real quick that we just did this little trip and with no gas at all. That's that's the other reason why this car is so much fun to drive. It's because on little trips, it's like a golf cart. I know I'm not going to use any gas at all. went a few miles the 
Oops. So when I shut this off, it'll tell me. It'll hit the little button there. And so here's here's another thing is that you can shift modes between uh, electric. I kind of push that button. That's all electric. That is gas. You switch to gas. And this one is, it'll just pick it for you. And so, uh, we're still in electric, obviously. And then uh, when I shut it off, when I push the kill, kill switch, it'll give me a readout. 3.4 miles. One regen mile. So for one mile, I was kind of regenerating power. Um, 999. That's, I mean, that's just useless. It's it's all electric. So that's that's it. Uh, I think this little test went well. I'm pretty happy. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do some much more involved videos later with hills and uh, how to influence traffic around you, etc. For now, thanks for watching.